they are indeed in infrared but uh, before I even go on to this Chantal please can you ask Tristan a big favor from Sebastian and I could you ask him and Senzo to fetch the camera that's on the southern road of quarantine on the knob thorn tree if that's okay but we are sitting with these two little elephants we saw both of them a little while ago that they are very young especially the one on the right hand side because it's tiny I don't even think that that's six months old yet I think it's, uh, it's even younger than that it doesn't really know how to use its trunk see look it's going I'm just going to bite it instead with my teeth and they very important that they train all those muscles up in their trunk because they use it like an arm and they'll stretch up to the tops of the trees or down on the ground and pick up grass and leaves and roots and all sorts of things that they will eat as you can see it's struggling a little bit but both of these little elephants they'll still be drinking milk from mom so I don't think mom has moved away too far especially at night during the day sometimes they wander and they go and play with one another but at night it's important that they stay close to mom or at least a, an older sibling to try and protect them because even a little elephant is vulnerable to a lion because lions can actually catch elephants and hunt them they don't necessarily do that here but in Zimbabwe they are very very capable of catching elephants and in other areas of, of Africa too but they don't do it over here isn't that so cool they are so tiny now even though they're so small I can promise you I don't even think I'd be able to pick up that smallest elephant I think it would be too heavy for me probably weighs more than a hundred pounds quite easily shame is trying very very hard to use its trunk now there we go you got one leaf well done you'll get better I promise as you get older no you're just using your trunk and you're still guiding it into your mouth it's very clever though now you it, the funniest thing is to actually watch them try and drink because they use their trunks to drink as well but they just suck the water up and then they hold it in their trunks they then have to try and maneuver that wobbly trunk into their mouth and then they spray the water back into their mouths like that so they don't use their uh, their trunks like a straw they can't suck it up that way and they have to go down on their knees and use their mouth as well to suck the water up it's very funny now Sammy and Alina you're wondering what is the difference between the boy and the girl elephants well it's actually quite difficult to tell here it's easier to tell on the adults so a female elephant a girl elephant has got a very square sharp head it's almost angular and you can also look for her mammary glands between her legs and the male the boy elephants they've got a very sort of rounded head um, but it is difficult to tie and tell the difference it does take a lot of practice and you'll get there eventually the more and more you watch I promise you you'll be able to spot and tell the difference between boys and girls uh, a lot quicker than I could I'm not very good at it I'm afraid it does like I said it takes lots and lots of practice and it just shows you how happy these elephants are uh, to be with us this afternoon and even this evening because it's night time now of course otherwise if they weren't happy mom would have come over and said get away we're not interested in you how cool is this and I'm sure that after watching the show today a lot of you are going oh my goodness I wish I could come to Africa and I hope that you want to come and see Africa one day and all our amazing animals because it really and truly is a special very very special place out here and maybe some of you even want to become a guide like me like Tristan and I or even become an incredible wildlife filmmaker like Sebastian and Senzor how cool would that be to do either one of these jobs it's probably the best job in the whole world I can just hear lots and lots of uh, rustling and leaves and I don't know who's coming towards us should we have a look Seb just in case because I don't know who's coming towards us I can't find my spotlight definitely a big elephant oh, there's lots of them around here well, how great is that but it's been a wonderful day and I'm so glad that all the children and the teachers from the Creatures Conservancy uh, joined us this afternoon and I hope that you learned a little bit or at least we made you laugh and you got to see some of our animals but please come back again we'll be happy to host you and have you and of course a big thank you to uh, the rest of the viewers who were watching earlier that was great and I look forward again to looking at all your screenshots
starts. Hopefully you added a new couple new birds to the list. Join us again tomorrow morning for the Sunrise Safari. Same place, same time. We'll see you all soon.